Hello everyone, it's a new year, which means new gadgets from every tech company. Apple is particularly interesting for a couple of reasons. One, Apple products are one of the most leaked and anticipated products every year. And two, knowing which products get released and when will help the buyer make his purchase decision. Once you know what features are expected and when it's expected, you can either wait for the product release or get the current model right away. In that context, this video will be about all the Apple products you can expect in 2022 and their features you can expect when they release. We'll cover every product starting from the iPhone, the iPads, Mac and more. So let's get started. Let's start with the iPhone, the most anticipated and leaked gadget in history. Everyone knows we can expect new iPhone models every year and usually they are released in September or October. And obviously we can expect a refresh to the iPhone lineup this year as well. And they'll be obviously called iPhone 14. But what's new this year is that Apple is going to ditch the iPhone mini. With people wanting larger phones, this move was inevitable. Instead of the mini, Apple is going to introduce a larger 6.7 inch iPhone 14, which is called iPhone 14 Max. With that, Apple's iPhone lineup will have iPhone 14, iPhone 14 Max, 14 Pro and the 14 Pro Max. This year with the iPhone 14 Pro, Apple is ditching the notch for a dual hole punch system with one for the camera and the other for Face ID components. The iPhone 14 models will still have the notch. The iPhones this year might get a little thicker from the previous year, thereby hinting us a flat glass back without the camera bump. Both the iPhone 14 and 14 Pro might get this flat back design while the 14 Pro might get a titanium frame instead of stainless steel. Another big upgrade is that Apple is expected to increase the camera resolution from 12 megapixels to 48 megapixels. Apple has had the same 12 megapixel resolution since the iPhone 6s. To make 8K video recording possible, the sensor needs to be at least 33 megapixels. And Apple bumping the resolution means we might be getting 8K videos as well in the new iPhone 14 Pro models. The iPhone 14 will get the camera improvements from the iPhone 13 Pro last year and all models will get the newer A16 processor with faster 5G modems. Next, the iPhone SE. The cheapest iPhone is getting a refresh after a while. The SE might retain the same design as previous generation with a 4.7 inch display but a faster processor. Whether it's A14 or A15 processor is unknown at this point. It will also have 5G connectivity. The price expected to remain the same and we can expect the iPhone SE in the first half of 2022. Next up, the iPads. Let's start with the iPad Air. Last year, Apple updated the iPad mini with A15 chip, better front facing camera and coming at a cheaper price. This made the iPad Air look like a bad deal starting at $100 extra. So Apple is set to update the iPad Air this year with the same A15 Bionic processor. It might also get 5G connectivity. iPad Air might also get the mini LED display that Apple brought to iPad Pros last year. Another big upgrade will be the FaceTime camera. It's expected to have the same 12 megapixel ultra wide camera with center stage support that we saw in iPad mini. The other features like design, price, back camera, connectivity are expected to remain same. It is expected to launch in the spring 2022. Let's talk about the iPad Pros as well. Apple refreshed the iPad Pros recently in May 2021. So even though we expect a refresh in 2022, we aren't sure when that would be, which means a lot of features and leaks we know could also change significantly. What we know so far is that Apple is bringing the mini LED display to the 11 inch iPad Pro models. The design is still in the works, but Apple is considering glass back design and could also bring wireless charging with MagSafe to the iPad Pros. Depending on when Apple plans to release it, the iPad iPad Pros might also get the next-gen M1 processor. I don't expect the M1 Pro or M1 Max in the iPads. Next up, the Macs. Like I mentioned in my previous video, Apple is transitioning all its Macs to Apple Silicon by 2022. So we can expect all their Intel Macs being replaced and refreshed this year. In 2021, Apple refreshed their 21-inch iMac to 24-inch iMac with M1 chip and updated design. This leaves their 27-inch iMac in need for an upgrade. Apple is expected to refresh the 27-inch iMac to a 30 or 32-inch display iMac with M1 Pro and M1 Max chip and the design like 24-inch 
Shine Mac, but with thinner bezels and different colors. It's also expected to have a mini LED display with ProMotion. There could also be a model with dual M1 Max chips for even more power. Being a very powerful machine, Apple might call this the iMac Pro this year. It is expected to be announced in June 2022 at the WWDC. Next, the Mac Pro. This is Apple's fastest and most powerful machine. To replace it with Apple Silicon means a couple of things. The M1 Pro and M1 Max chips are not powerful enough to replace the current Mac Pro. So Apple is planning to combine four M1 Max chips for a total of 40 CPU cores and 128 GPU cores, up to 256 gigs of memory. This will be faster than the fastest Intel and AMD equivalent chip. And second, Intel CPU need a lot of space and ventilation. But the Apple Silicon being more efficient, the design can be smaller and compact. So we can see a smaller Mac Pro without the cheese grater design. Apple is expected to announce the Mac Pro at WWDC as well in June 2022, depending on how the development goes. Even if it hits delays, it is expected to be latest by Q4 2022. Finally, the Mac Mini. A higher-end Mac Mini will be released around June 2022 to replace the Mac Mini Intel version. It might get a refreshed design with plexiglass top and boats with M1 Pro and M1 Max chips. If Apple releases the next-gen M1 chips, the Mac Mini with M1 chips might see a refresh with the new M1 chips as well. The MacBook Air is also getting an upgrade in 2022. It will have a new design with thinner bezels and square off look without the wedge shape. It might contain the notch like the MacBook Pros along with mini LED display, MagSafe charging and USB-C ports. It might also get the next gen M1 chip depending on when Apple plans to release it. But we can expect it tentatively in WWDC as well. It's expected to come in a bunch of colors like the iMac 24 inch. Next, the Apple Watch. Apple Watch and iPhone have a pretty consistent one year refresh cycle and we can expect the Apple Watch Series 8 to be released this year in late 2022. Apple Watch Series 7 was expected to have a design refresh but it didn't. People are expecting a design refresh this year but not sure to what extent it is in works. But what we know is Apple is planning to add more health sensors like temperature sensors and better sleep tracking. Apple is working on sensors like blood glucose and blood pressure monitors but they are not expected in Series 8. Instead of a new design, Apple is expected to release a separate model for athletes with a rugged and stronger build and more sports-centric features. The pricing of this model is not yet known at this point. We can expect the other usual improvements like faster processors and maybe a better battery life. The next-gen Apple Watch SE will also be released alongside the Series 8 coming with a faster processor and more health sensors like ECG and oxygen sensors. The design and the price will be the same as the current gen. Next up, AirPods. Apple refreshed their AirPods to Gen 3 in 2021. It borrowed a lot of its features from their AirPods Pro, making AirPods Pro a lackluster choice except for noise cancelling and silicon tips. Apple will refresh the AirPods Pro with a new design this year. It might get rid of the stem, making a rounder and in-ear style AirPods Pro for 2022. This is similar to Sony and Bose noise cancelling earbuds. Apple is thinking of adding some health features to the AirPods Pro for activities and could come with a newer chip to enable them. It is also expected in late 2022. These are the products we know for sure we can expect in 2022 from Apple. But we also know of some products which have been in works for a very long time but don't have a committed release date. They are equally exciting and long awaited. First on the list is Apple's AR VR headset. Apple has been working on this in one form or the other for a while. There were rumored Apple glasses and full-on headsets. Rumors are they are still in their infancy. We can expect them in late 2023 or 2024. Next, foldable iPhone. Samsung Motorola. Motorola, Microsoft all have released a foldable phone. Apple was set to be working on a foldable iPhone since 2016, but rumors and leaks have pointed out that Apple considered a folding glass iPhone, a two-screen with hinge iPhone, and a few other prototypes. But nothing has passed beyond the development stage yet, which means it's unlikely we will see a foldable phone in 2023, let alone 2022. But Apple has not written off a folding iPhone yet and is experimenting with folding phones. Maybe in 2024? Not sure yet. Apple is also working on updating the Pro XDR display. There could be a low-cost mini LED display which a lot of Apple fans have been asking for. Or at least the iMac Pro display without the computing parts inside. Apple might finally give what people wanted, but maybe not in 2022. Other than the hardware Apple will reveal in 2022, we know there will be iOS 16, iPad OS, Mac OS and Watch OS at WWDC in June 2022. Please subscribe to know more about each product announcements and updates as 
we get to know hope you like this video we'll see you in the next one this is anjana bye bye